everyone, welcome back to the beautiful world of Kingdom Come Deliverance. I'm Lady Lilia and we are finding, trying to find Ginger. We are on investigation pretty much um, to solve what happened at the stud farm in Nuihoff. Nuihoff? Nui, Nui I don't know. God damn it. Everything in this game is hard to pronounce. <laughs> for, a for an American um, like me, because I pronounce things wrong anyway. But anyways, um, I'm thinking that, oh, wait, those are the two guys. Oh shit, hang on. Okay, I was gonna say we're gonna go get the bandits, um, but I think they're actually coming. Like, right now. I think they're on the way here, so I'm gonna... I am going to... This is a terrible sword. <laughs> yeah, I am going to... They look like they have armor, so let's use piercing. No, I only have one of those, actually. Well, maybe that's all I need. Yeah, it definitely did look like they were coming this way, and they looked like the bandits. He said they come and cause trouble and then they go back. I would like to deal with them. Oh shit, okay. Let's get... I think they, they totally saw me. <laughs> they totally saw me. Now they're running away. Oh, no, they're not. Okay. Well, this could go really badly. Um. Are you attacking me? That's all I want to know. Are you trying to talk to me or attack me? You don't have your weapon drawn. A suspicious man at arms. What do you want? Greetings, my good man. May I ask you a question? Ask uh... first, then I'll ask you something. Really? Good then. We're looking for Ginger. A stable boy at a nearby stud farm. Have you seen him anywhere? Well, I'm looking for him too. Oh, shit. Um, yeah. I was just about to ask you two the same thing. I'm looking for him too. Then it's a pity neither of us have found him yet. Thank heavens I've found you, though. I imagine you two might be able to tell me something about Neuhof. Hmm? I see. Well, we can give you a little demonstration of what happened there. Oh, God. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> Run! The best you can do? Run! The wrong the wrong Charcoal burners, help me! What's the matter? Come on! Um... I... <sighs> this is gonna end poorly. Does anyone know how to fight? <clears throat> Does anyone at all know how to fight? You it's here. Oh, they do! Okay, good. Good, good, good. Okay. Here we go. Here we go. Go, go, charcoal burners. Bullseye! Hell yeah! Alright, which guy was the bad guy? You? Yes. You made a mistake getting on the wrong side of me. Don't worry, I killed him. Everything's fine. You guys did awesome. All right. Well, hey, that worked out. You know, when in doubt, run around wildly until someone helps you. <laughs> okay. Uh, hunter's gloves are worth taking. Yes, yes, long distance arrows, piercing arrows, skull cap. Sure, I'll put that on my horse, why not? All right, and you. Okay. Um, I assume that's gonna make us some- ooh. Most primitive form of footwear. Leather fastened boots. Oh, okay, never mind. I thought because it said dark it would be cool, but no, it's not. Um, marigold decoction, hell yes. Some more arrows, a silver ring, which is worth a lot. And no other... It looks kind of cool, you know? But no. All right, sorry about the dead people. Um, I should probably bandage myself. I am kind of injured. Never mind, I'm not I'm not bleeding though, so I'm fine. Um, good job, dude. Let's talk to you. Now that that's taken care of, tell me where you're hiding, Ginger. Where are you hiding, Ginger? How did you? What the hell are you talking about? Don't try that one just on me. Gave it away. I know he's friends with a pair of twins from here. 
I'm here on the orders of Sir Hanush, and I need to talk to Ginger about the raid on the stud farm. If Sir Hanush sent you, then you should deal with those two cutthroats who've been creeping around here. I literally about the boy. just did that in won't front you take of care you. Of them? We won't have to hide him anymore. I've dealt with them. Did you not see? They're dead right here. I dealt with that pair. I happened to run into them and, uh, well, it didn't end well for them. Uh -huh. Really? And I suppose I have to take your word for it. Look on the if ground in front of you. I can take you to them. Hmm. Maybe I should have brought you their heads. I'll take your word for it. All right. A bargain's a bargain. Ginger is hiding out in a ruined hut not far from here. You go along the road to Ujits until you see a path to the right that leads to a small spring. <clears throat> There's an overgrown path that leads from there right to where Ginger is. Keep your eyes peeled, though. You could easily miss it. Good. Thanks for your help. Great. Morrowind directions. Love it. Okay. Is it going to give me a... Okay. It is going to give me an actual... Uh... Oh, I didn't realize I could do this. That's... I didn't even... Yeah, this is great. <laughs> But, um, okay. He's a, he's hiding in an abandoned hut. Also, how close are we to Yushits right now? Because I would really love to... Um, learn how to read. And if we're right there... This is the one. Map. Okay, Yushits is actually north of Talmberg. So we're not... We're not super close. But that's fine. We're gonna do this. <laughs> I'm, I think I'm going to leave my horse here. Is that okay with you, sir? Uh, I'm, I'm hoping that Ginger is not going to attack me. Yeah, I'll take my horse. I'll take my horse partway, at least. I love you, Pebbles. You're my favorite horsey. I guess we're gonna need to do some off-road horseback riding here. I'm actually sure, uh, I, I'm pretty sure, because I played the beta, I'm pretty sure that, uh, we, the, the main quest will lead us to Tallenberg, so when we get to Tallenberg, we'll be pretty close to Nuiha, or to uh, Ushitz. And then, um, and then hopefully I could just go there and learn to read. Oh, look who it is! Hello. No running. Jesus, you've led me a merry dance. What do you want from me? What do you I want think? to ask you a couple of questions. Why did you run off like that? Where are your cronies? And why did you kill that bandit? What? Right, one thing at a time. <clears throat> um. Yeah, first of all, why did you run? Why did you run off in such a hurry? B because I was afraid they'd come back and kill me. Who? Those, those bandits, of course. To get revenge on you for killing their mate. Killing? Me? I, I never killed anyone. God is my witness. Where are your... Why did you kill the bandits? Tell me, just tell me everything. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's quite a long story. Well, I got time. Yeah. Don't worry, I won't get bored. All right. I woke up in the middle of the night because I needed to go for a piss. So I went out into the dark, same as usual, only... Only there was something there that shouldn't have been. At first I thought it was just a trick of the light, but it wasn't. And then it was too late. They went past and I thought they must be horse thieves. I would have yelled, only I was afraid they'd kill me. So I waited until they were out of sight and I started to sneak away, but then... Then the slaughtering started. Yes. I thought they'd steal the horses and ride off. That would be bad enough. But then all well, the killing started and flames everywhere. And, well, it was terrible, like hell itself. And then? It, it seemed some of them didn't like it either. 
They started squabbling among themselves, and some of them started running back where they came from, right towards me. And I had that thing in my hand, the hoof pick. So you stabbed the first one in the belly? No, no. He ran right into me. He was running fast for a fellow with a limp. He pushed me aside and I fell on the ground. Then he told me I'd better lie low if I valued my life. He ran off with the others. I did what he said and hid. Then the rest of the gang ran past. And then? Then, then I waited in case that limping one from Ujits came back. I didn't dare come out until I was sure. I think it was almost light. Hmm. Do you know what they argued about? I didn't hear everything, but I reckon some of them were only there to steal and wanted no part in the killing. Okay. What about the others? Was there anything you noticed about them? Uh, I don't know. There, there might have been maybe eight of them, and two of them were really big. That's two all I can remember. That sounds terrible. I know exactly how you feel. If only I yell. Maybe they... <laughs> if you had, you'd most likely be dead. It probably wouldn't have done any good anyway. But still... There was nothing you could do. That's all. Why did you kill that bandit? What? Bandit? I never killed anyone. This is yours, isn't it? I pulled it from the belly of a dead bandit near the stud farm. That is mine, but I didn't stab him. That fellow took it from me. And now tell me exactly what happened. And don't leave anything out. That's... You don't have to tell... I only read... What else do you know? Nothing. Uh... I think I missed something there. Um... And now tell me exactly... And don't leave... That's... Okay. I've heard everything I need to hear. Wait! What about me? Won't you help me out? Uh, perhaps I could. What would you like? I'd like to go back to the stud farm, but those cutthroats who want to kill me are still around. Will you help yeah, me? Yeah, I took They're out of the way. I ran into them on my travels. Yep. Really? That's great, but... What? I'm afraid to go back to the farm. I, I ran away, and God knows what they'll think about it all. I don't know if they'll even want to talk to me. Just go there and see what happens. I mean, no, J Jacob or whatever was was totally vouching for you, dude. It's fine. Just yeah, try, it's fine. and you'll see whether they drive you away or not. But if you explain it to them, they're sure to understand. I suppose you're right. Thank you for your help, and God bless you. I'm not gonna. I'm not gonna go all the way back there just to Jesus, freaking. Jesus, look where you're going. Oh my God. Yeah, I'm not gonna go all the way back there just to. Ask them and then come back here and tell them. That's, a, that's, that's just a waste of time. But I am going to steal his stuff. As, as a form of payment. If there is even anything in here. Like, you'd think he would have taken it. But this might be not be his. You never know. Bandages. Very nice. And some hides. Um... 31 damage and bludgeoning. Let's just take it all. Let's, we're gonna put it on our horse anyway, so it's fine. Pebbles! How did you get inside the house, Pebbles? You amazing teleporting horse, you. You're so amazing. I don't know what I would do without you. Okay. Um, weapons. Move to horse. Move to horse. To do, let's sort by... Okay. I really should start um, trying to repair my gear, by the way. Um, I think I put... Yeah, let's take that and I'm actually going to see if I can repair anything that I have in my inventory. Because I don't think I'm going to get better at repairing if I... Like, unless I actually just do it, so... Let's try doing that. Oh, hey, it works. Okay, cool. I, I'm not good enough to do any of these, but I should just do general upkeep on my stuff every once in a while um, with this tailor's kit. 
Unfortunately, uh, you know, I can't do any more, but where is that skill? Maintenance. Yes, very nice, very nice. I'm excited for the reading skill. Indeedy do does. Okay, we have a defense thing. If you beat your opponents in a clinch, you'll be you'll you'll damage his weapon more. A damaged weapon will cause much le much less damage. That is really good in conjunction with that other ability that I did not get. This one. That's interesting. Okay. Blocking an opponent's strike with you will cost him more stamina. That might be what I want. Probably gonna get a shield again. Shields seem really good, obviously. Um, my armor is one third more frightening than usual. In sunny weather, the glint of your armor will dazzle everyone so much you'll be taken for a noble knight. Wow. You're able to put on your armor so cleverly that its real weight is one third lighter than, okay, that's cool. I think I'm gonna get this. No, um, I don't have a, uh, I don't currently have a shield, so I'm gonna wait. Okay, well that all went pretty well, I would say, for sure. So, now we have to go back. Um, I don't think we should wait to do this. I think we should go as soon as possible. Wouldn't you say? Is there anywhere in New Half that we can actually fast travel to? Yes, okay, good. We should definitely fast travel to Nui Hof. Attack, scout. Said it was an attack on it. Oh, hey there! Hi! Okay, you have a spear. That's terrifying. That's actually terrifying. Um. Can I. Uh. Okay. Why am I not taking my bow out? There we go. I don't know if I can do this. This might not be reliable. I need to get far away and then do it. Far away. It's just one guy, though, you know? Come on, Henry. Raise your bow. Oh, do I not have arrows? Shit. Okay, well... I failed at scouting the enemy, didn't I? He's pretty slow, though. He's pretty damn slow. Which definitely would be... is going to be good for me. Like so. Get your stamina back. It's fine. Okay, he's running. Let's let him use all his stamina, and then we run. And then we turn around and we shoot him. Like so. Uh. Ah! Shit. Ow, 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 ow. Sir? Why did you stop moving? Alright. Bacon! Hell yes! Alright. <laughs> Common saber, I'll take. Cuban harness. Lock picks? Very nice. Okay, um. I think I'm gonna take this cumin stuff because I can, uh. Use it as a form of disguise eventually. I would I would like to have one of the helmets that uh Okay, my horse is still fine with carry weight. With like a closed face helmet for disguise, but this is better than um I should buy 
I forgot too, the horse has stats. The horse has like, I can buy better stuff for my horse, which is so awesome. I can't wait to get Pebbles a cool outfit. But yeah, um, I think I'll, I'll keep it for now on my horse. Actually, was, was any of that damaged enough for me to just repair? No. No, I think it has to be above 80% for me to repair it, so. 100? I should just, uh, let's just move that to my inventory and drop it, actually. Let's drop that, too, because that's going to get me sick. Um, bacon? Is that, is it cooked? I think it's cooked. Yeah. Delicious! I ate his bacon! I killed him and ate his bacon. That is the best outcome that I could have hoped for. Oh. There's a quest here. I suppose we could check it out. Why not, right? Oh god, I don't, I don't know though. Henry's in a hurry. He's doing a very important quest, but I suppose, you know, he just killed a Cuban right outside this this house. Oh, this is an inn. Okay, then, then that's not a big deal. But you know what? Let's stop. We should definitely stop at this inn. This is totally something that Henry would do. Can I put my horse somewhere? Hello, friends. Lodgings. Is this the horse parking area? All right, that lady wants a word. There you go, Pebbles. Enjoy a snack. What do you want, lady? An old whore. Great. What are you standing around here for? You waiting for someone? Not anymore, young man. I was oh waiting for you. You look like a clever sort of fellow, and chivalrous too. You wouldn't leave a damsel in distress, would you? Why? Do you know of one somewhere? Now, now, handsome. <laughs> Don't be mean. I've got a job to offer you. There's an old granddad sitting in the alehouse there. Yesterday, he made use of my services, and he said he'd pay me in the morning. Oh, okay. Only now he pretends he doesn't know me. I want you to take the groschen he owes me from his purse and bring them to oh. me. What's in it for me? And what do I get out of it? I'll give you a half of what you get off him. It ain't a lot, but it's more than I've seen for quite a while. I'm on it. I'm on it. Pickpocket job. The coin before you know it. Oh, hell yeah, but I'm totally saving the game first because... Oh, it did save! Oh, I love you, game. The game's like, you might F this up, so let's see. Steal 20 groschen from the non-paying customer's purse. Okay, hang on. Do I still have that stealth perk? Because there is a stealth perk. Isn't it? Or is it a pickpocketing perk? Uh, secret pockets. Okay, um... Oh, it's crowd control, right? Uh, I was, yeah, that that would be good good to get right now, but um, unfortunately, you move more silently in rain. The noise of your footsteps is reduced. I, guess I should just get that. This is really good too, though. Nah, I'll just save it. Okay, pickpocketing. Um, I'm gonna get this, because it could help me, like, even if I don't know. Alright, let's see what this guy looks like. Is it this guy? Andrew? No, you're the innkeeper. Let's see. I'm hungry, I'd like a bite to eat. Granddad. It's you. I think it's him. So... I'd like to... I don't know. <laughs> I was gonna say, maybe I should wash up first. I look a little bit less suspicious, but that will raise my charisma, though. Wasn't there a... Isn't there no place to wash up here? Here! Talk to Andrew. Hey, Andrew, what's going on? God be with you. Thank you. 
Uh, oh, do you need any supplies? Yeah, you do. Would you have a job for me? Maybe you're in need of some supplies? Hmm. Fresh meat. No problem. I can go to Ratai and buy some for you. Can I? I could send the stable boy for that. I'm talking about game. Game? But that's near impossible to buy. I'd have to hunt it myself. And that's against the law. <laughs> ah. Of course. I'd pay you well for anything you bring me. Even more if it's something in particular I want. Mm. And if you help me out here and there, I'll teach you something useful in return. That's an interesting proposition. Ooh, I like it. Delicacies. Are you after some meat? Certainly. I'm expecting a traveling merchant who loves venison from roe deer. I'd be mighty grateful if you brought me some fresh stuff. Okay. What do you train? Axe? No thanks. What do you sell? He's got... Bandages. Probably gonna buy those, actually. Let's talk about the price. I'll handle you for these bandages. Well, we can try it. Let's get him to like me a bit. Here, with a little something on top for a good measure. Well, no. Thank you very much. You're welcome, sir. I'm sure we will be great friends. Okay, the game's saved, so I just. Yes, yes. Um, I kind of want to sleep. Maybe I should wait till night time to pick this guy's pocket. What do you think? Because if I pick his pocket yeah. now, I think it's this guy. I think it's this guy. It's hard to tell. Got it for you right here. It's really hard to tell. Um, yeah, let's, uh, let's get a room. I'm not gonna sleep for too long. Can I sleep here? Hi, there's room here. For how but long? I'd like, I'd like to rest up, and if I... Just for one night. Just the one night? Sure, but let's see your coin first. These are harsh times. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hmm, that's quite a lot. It's really not Henry, but whatever. Are we agreed? Well, a little more. And we'll call. All right, all right, all right. Sure. You'll like it here. Like sleeping on a cloud, it is. I'm sure it is. All right, where's my bed? Where do I go to sleep? On the upper floor of the inn. There are steps up to it outside. Your chamber is the one in the middle. Okay, so like same thing as everywhere else. Cool. By the way, I killed some cumins, uh, or one cumin outside your outside your establishment. So you might want to know about that. Mine's in the middle. All right, is there by chance anywhere for me to wash up here? Doesn't seem like there is. But uh, here's my chest. Um. Hmm. I think I'll take some of this stuff out so that I can practice repairing. Hunting boots. Okay. Tavern is loud. Nice and loud. Um. See what it looks like in here. Same thing. I could try talking to him yeah. about it. Satisfied? 
It must be him, because this guy's got no talk option. God be with you. There. Oh. Satisfied? Is there someone here who trades in goods? Vartava is your man. He's the local dealer, a skinny fellow. Ooh. I saw him by the Basically. granary. He'll buy anything that has any value, and he'd sell you his own granny. <laughs> oh. If he hadn't already sold her long since. Sweet. Okay. Then he might buy stolen goods. Can I, can I like, pay you to look away, sir? <laughs> Good day to you. What do you need? Okay. Um, I don't... Oh, this is, this is just not going to go well, is it? I'm going to do this. Can I just look? It's, it, you know. Could knock him out. Back trouble. Yes. Okay, so that's not. It's not a good idea. Do I have food on me that I don't want to waste? Those, those don't seem to go bad, so that's fine. We'll just eat this. Eat from pot. Nom nom. Hmm. Maybe I'll try waiting one more hour and see if he leaves or if he moves. Because if, if I'm just supposed to pickpocket him, like, right in front of everyone, this is difficult. Very difficult. Got it for you right here. These guys have literally been drinking the entire day. Hello, friend. I don't suppose I can... No. I was like, maybe I can reach behind me and pickpocket him, but no. Shit! Sorry. Mother of what the God. fuck? You're trying to rob me! Pickpocket! Oh, I wasn't. Well, that didn't go well. What is it? Here. Where are you going? Sir? Sir? Where are you guys going? <laughs> guys? Look, I just tried to get your money from, from Wench Lady. Oh, I can't tackle him. Oh, yeah, I can. <clears throat> What have you done, Henry? What have you done? This poor guy. Come on, dude. Dude, just give up. Give me the money. Give me the money, bro. Oh my god. Really? Is this gonna kill him? Because I don't want to kill him. Okay, he's just unconscious. It's fine. Knocked him out. I reached a new level of pickpocketing for that. For some reason. All right. Oh God. That definitely was not very smooth. <laughs> definitely could have been better. But oh well. Um, where am I right? I want to check my reputation. This is in the glade. Um, people definitely saw me doing that. But the innkeeper, let's see what the innkeeper thinks about me now. Hopefully, I'm still welcome here. Can't talk to you. Uh, watch where you're going. Andrew. You okay, Talking dude? With you. Okay, good. He still likes me. <laughs> That's good. <clears throat> right. Where's the, where's the old horror lady? She is... Is she in there? <sighs> oh 
Never mind, I'll just sleep till the morning and then, uh... I think she might be in that building. What's this? Okay. We'll just rest till the morning and, uh, that was messy, but Henry got the job done. <laughs> Nobody said it had to be clean! Can't sleep anymore now. Okay, that's fine. Dawn is fine. All right, we have spent a day here. And uh, we're ready to go, I think. But I might actually try and find this suspicious gentleman by the granary because um, that, he sounds like somebody I might want to be friends with. Ah, oh, it's raining, how nice. Where is this lady? She's inside, I'm pretty sure. Probably just everyone's inside because... Oh, I might need to wait around a bit, actually. Fine. Wait until after 8 so everyone will be up. What's up, Andrew? Why do I have you as a... Oh, that's just because I have to bring him meat. Okay. Bring Groshin to the floor. That was- that's- no wonder that was Andrew that was the green thing. Okay. Alright, here you go, ma'am. I've got your coin for you. Though I have to say, robbing a wretch who doesn't look much better than you doesn't exactly fill me with pride. Yeah, it was pretty bad. Thank you a thousand times. Keep half as a reward. I don't know if I want... No, I don't think I want another job from her right now. Um, I'd like to keep at least some of my dignity, if you don't mind. Okay, there's a guy at a granary somewhere that is... Apparently... Likes to buy items. And I would like to meet the guy. If at all possible. Do I want to go hunting really quick for, um... We could try and get some, some game really quick before we head back. Why not? Why not? Let's find some... Deer. If we can. Uh, hunting arrows? I'm sure I'm glad I was able to beat Hans. The archery contest to get his bow. Seems like it's a pretty decent bow. So if I was a deer, where would I be? We're just going to probably shoot one deer and that's about it. I did get the hunting perk where I can take antlers too, so maybe I'll want to buy that. I'd like to point out, all of this happened because of that incident on the road, and uh, it kind of honestly makes me feel bad for fast traveling, but I don't know. I, I, I really do like the fast travel system a lot. Strength, huh? Okay. Sorry, bunny rabbit. I'm on a hunting expedition. I, w I wonder if he'll take rabbit meat, too, maybe. You gotta see deer from far away, though. You can't approach them as easily as the bunny wabbits. Although, apparently, when you shoot them, they don't really care. So that's a win win. What is this? This is, this is a little garden. 
Wait, if I do, I hear a dog. Woodland Garden. Belladonna? Hell yes! It's a Belladonna Garden. Oh yeah, I'm taking all of that. You can bet your bejeebles I'm taking all of it. I'm sorry who's ever garden this is, but... Belladonna, you're basically growing a shave your schnapps field here. Get him! Am I gonna be able to find my other arrow, though? Slowly losing arrows here. There it is, I see it, I see it. Give me the sweet spot, there we go. Alright, dear. I don't know how long I want to pursue you here. Or, um, you know, if I just want to give up. I don't really want to continue hunting rabbit too much. Really just wanted to get, like, one deer and go, but I'm not... I'm not having much luck. Now I'm gonna need you. <laughs> Alright, um... Let's transfer that to the horse really quick. Horse is still looking... Okay, but we really do need to do some bartering. Uh, probably, I'll probably do the bartering off camera, honestly. When we go back. I'm hoping that once we report all this... Uh, back to Dude Bro, we'll have a little respite from the action. But apparently today, Henry just wanted to go on a hunt. He's like, oh, I see opportunity to make some cash. While I'm here, I might as well see if there's any deer in the area. Apparently, not having too much luck, though. Oh, I see deer. Oh, yes. There's four of them. Okay, so we just follow him and wait for him to stop. guys, you gotta stop and graze sometime, right? Oh, that guy stopped. Here we go. I'm gonna go in for the kill. Ah, oh, shit. I hit the tree, I think. chance there. Oh. Ugh. Come on, Henry. Did I hit him? I, th I think I hit everywhere but the deer. Okay. Yes! Got him. Agility. Nice. Okay. This is all we're gonna take. We're just- oh. Oh, good lord. Okay, sorry, dear. Take all. Um, horse. Definitely need help, horse. I would like to... Yeah, here's my arrow. Alright, so what we're gonna do is go back to that inn. And give this meat to the guy. And hopefully it doesn't spoil. In the meantime... Hello, Andrew. Excuse me, Andrew. I have some meat for you. I'm sure you'll be interested in it. It's fresh. I just shot it. Andrew? Andrew! God damn it. <laughs> Jesus, what do you want from me now? Well, I, well, I, I... Trade? Do I have to trade it to him? I guess he'll... Okay, it's not bad. Uh -huh. 
He really doesn't like me, I think, because I robbed no, that guy. No, that looks like stolen goods. I won't buy that. But you just said you wanted it. Are you freaking serious? Bring roe deer meat to innkeeper. Oh, it's the wrong kind of deer meat. Oh, okay, well, I am pretty sure I can cook this and get rid of the stolen tag. Is that is that right? Yeah. And then sell it. Well, that's good to know, though. Uh, I, there, there's two different kinds of deer. All right, I'm gonna tip him again, though. So, yeah, now it's not uh, stolen anymore. Well, that seems silly. <laughs> but whatever works. Can we do something about the price? Hi. I cooked it so it's no longer stolen. Um, love me. Here, and uh, something for your trouble. I'm sorry well, I no. caused a ruckus in Thank your you inn. Thank you very much. I appreciate it. Even though I think it's a little weird that, uh... <laughs> that whenever you cook meat, it's automatically not stolen anymore, but whatever. Alright, I suppose I should sell this as well, because this is, you know... Probably still weighs a bit. Okay. Do you hate me? Okay, good. Hopefully we're in good terms-ish with these people. Um, I feel satisfied with the questing that I've done and the hunting. Now, we desperately need to go back, take a bath, get our armor fixed, sell a crap load of stuff. Um, but before we do that, I'm gonna have a quick look around for... Um, the granary. Which, where? It's just, granary's just where they store food, right? So, wouldn't it be nearby? Is that a building down here? Just a little hot. That's not gonna be it. Now you'd think it would be right around here, but I don't suppose it's on the map. There's something there. Unexplored place. Could that be it? Well, let's just go back to Anyhoff, I think. I think we should just get a move on with things. Wayfair. Uh, we'll ignore him. Probably everyone is waiting for me to report back, wondering what the hell happened to Henry. Fail. I failed at <laughs> avoiding the Wayfair. All right. It's been two days, I think, since we left to this, on this quest. Which, you know, considering is probably not too bad. Hey, wait, what's up? Let's park our horse by everyone else's horse. I like to park my horse in the correct spot, you know. Oh, look who it is! Hey, Radzig, what's going on? God be with you, lad. What can I do for you? I don't know. Um, I have another lead to the bandits. Sure. My lord, I managed to find a clue to the whereabouts of the bandits. Excellent. Bernard already told me what's been happening, but I'd like to hear it straight from the horse's mouth. The whole story, or just the gist of it, sir? It's up to you what you consider important. Hmm. Probably brief. Well, in the end, I tracked down the stable Speech. boy who fled in fear of his life, and for good reason, too. He put me on the trail of a crofter from Ujit with a limp. And his name? But the boy didn't know him by name, 
only by sight. But if I ask around, I'm sure folk will know who limps and keeps peculiar company. Villagers like to gossip. But what if he's not there? He could have fled, maybe even to Kuttenberg. If I don't find him in Ujits, I'll ask around. Someone will know something oh, about I him. I to go to Ujits right. next! Hell Better yes. go to Ujits then. Find this limping footpad and get the names of the others out of him. They have to face justice for what they did. I want to see them hang. Then bring him to me in Merhoyed, and I'll decide on his fate. Merhoyed! Certainly, sir. I don't know why I like Merhoyed so much. <laughs> Alright, new perks! Go and tell Cap. Jesus, oh, look where you're going! Is that gonna have a consequence that I told Radzig instead? It seems like I, I can't tell the captain now, which seems bad. Like, uh, I feel, I actually feel pretty guilty for, for telling Radzig now instead of the captain. I mean, you know, I, is Radzig going to go tell the captain? I hope so. Ginger's hiding in the woods, fear for his life. Um, I've got to go to you shits and track the fellow down. Okay, that's good though. This is all fine. This is all fine because, oh, hey. I want to talk to you. I'll be with you, Henry. Jesus Christ be praised. Can I also tell you about it? Any chance of some work here, Captain? It all depends on what you're ready to do, my lad. Oh. Well, I'm sure you've noticed the roads around here are swarming with brigands. Sir yeah. Hamish has declared quite a reward for dealing with them. Oh. So what do you think I should do about them? We know about one of their encampments. It's to the east of Ratai in an abandoned mine. I don't really mind how you deal with them. Anyway, the leaders generally wear spurs, maybe like they're pretending they're nobility. Who cares? In any <laughs> case, bring me the spurs, and I'll take it as proof that the deed's done. Very Is that well. just combat music? We'll see to it. Wait. In addition, Sir Hanush has offered a reward for every bandit who's killed. So take a good sharp dagger. You'll get a bit extra for each ear you bring. Oh, cool. Okay. Sounds like a bit of fun. Very well. That sounds amusing. Well, as for amusement, I'd entertain myself by being very careful, lad. I will. Okay, so now we got a quest to go kill bandits. Cool. Um, that sounds interesting. Vengeance! Oh boy, okay, so kill the camp leader, which is down there. I really, really want to get sell my stuff. I like I that's pretty far away. I don't want to track that anymore. Um, I'll keep that on there, I guess. Generous bounty. We actually get to go to Ushits, which is absolutely perfect. Uh, because this quest, it's not what I want. Uh, mightier than the sword is what I want, yes. Which is also in Ushits, because um, that will teach us to read, and that's super important. But the only problem is... Is there... Like, I wanted to do some selling, is the thing, you know? Neuehof seems like it's not really a town with any type of merchants. But I could just go... Like, I could go back down to Rate. It wouldn't be that bad. You know, like I could just fast travel to Rate and then stop along the way. I think I, I think it'll allow me to do that. I could just go to Rate and sell everything. Maybe that's what I should do. Hmm. Hang on. Where is the Miller's Quest? It's not far off. Okay, it's right there. I think we'll do this. I think what we'll do, take all of my crap with my horse, go here, turn this in, then we can probably sell things to the miller there, right? So that's what I'm going to do. Then I'll sell stuff to the miller, I'll go back to Rate and do some more bartering, I'll take a bath, get cleaned up. Um, I think Henry deserves that, he's been, he's had a hard couple days here. And, uh, yeah, that's, that sounds, sounds like a good thing to do. 
plus, and we'll finally be able to sell our stolen goods, which is really, really exciting. I cannot wait. All right. This video might be a little more than an hour, but I'm gonna I'm gonna travel there anyway, and uh, just in case something happens along the way, you know, I don't want to risk it. But I'm, I'm having a lot of fun. Now that I have a horse and, like, the whole world has opened up to me. All these side quests to do. It's super fun. I re I'm really enjoying bow and arrow. Hunting is a good time. Learned a lot from hunting with Hans. That was fun. Looking forward to seeing Hans again. Besties for life. Hopefully I can get there from here. Oh, shit. look like humans. They are torturing someone. There's three of them. I think they look like humans. It's hard to tell. There's a pointy helmet, which usually is what humans wear, right? Should I try sniping them? distance arrow. <laughs> yeah, I th I'm pretty sure they're humans. I should go into the woods. Can't tell if they have any bone arrow. That guy's got that guy's got arrows on his back, actually. This is such a risky shot. Oh shit. What's up? What's up, guys? Alright, well. We've got a cumin with a uh, pole again. I failed. I missed my shots. Figures. Where are ya? Where are ya? Did he follow me? Did he lose me already? Hmm. I, I, I'm worried that he wasn't actually attacking me, but I think he was. He had his spear out. I don't know what happened to the prisoner that they had. Did they kill him or did he run off? Oh, shit. Do they think that they chased me off? Is that that's probably what's happening? Well, I'm leveling up my stealth anyway. guys. Got him. I think they're running away. Are you? Well, where's my long distance arrow? Well, maybe I distracted him and that, that merchant got away or whatever, whatever he, whoever he was, they were definitely Holding him hostage, so maybe I chased him away. 
We've I've done my part. Let's go, Pebbles. <laughs> All right. That was an interesting encounter. Let's book it. Whoa, careful, careful. Hello, are you a shady individual? You look fine. Another wayfarer, no big deal. All right, I'm actually really excited to be finally turning this quest in. Apparently, um, <clears throat> Miller's Under Society? Yes. Um, Miller's were apparently, like, had a reputation or something for being shady. They drew a code of conduct for Miller's as to ensure their use of water for milling caused no loss to others. Some of the mills stood apart from other village houses. Millers were subject to gossip and were accused of earning money on the side in nefarious ways. From selling customers short on flour to outright witchcraft, thievery, and trafficking of stolen goods. Well, okay. There you go. Hello, ladies. Um, Millmaid Anna. Oh my goodness. Uh, okay. Hello. I'm looking for the actual miller. Is he around? Is he doing his milling business? be inside. Hello? Ah. Miller Wojzak. Hello. Good day to you. Good day to you. I'm supposed to deliver this ring. Miller Peshek from Ratoy sent me with this ring for you. A ring? Yeah. Here it is. Useless fucking bauble. You must be Henry, right? Peshek told me about you. Yep. What the? Why did you throw it away? Do you know how much trouble I had to get it? Peshek said it was important to you. Like I said, it's a piece of junk. It was just a test to see if you've got the balls to work for the miller. It's a custom of ours, testing fledglings in the trade with a nice little wild goose chase. We need to see if you'll be hobbled by pointless principles, or if you're willing to use your head. Congratulations. You passed the test, and now we'll have a few jobs for you. Cool. How can I sell stolen goods? What am I to do with these things I pilfer? No one will buy stolen goods from me. Buying and selling stolen goods is a crime. But if they're worth something, I can make sure they're... Uh, properly cared for. Not that I'd buy them from you, but I could uh, store them for you. Uh -huh. And you'll get some coin for taking care of them before. So if someone loses something and I happen to find it, I can bring it to you to store and I'll get Groshen for it. That's the arrangement. Right. Um, what do you train? Stealth. Ooh. I'd like you to teach me how to be better at stealth. Certainly. Beginner? I'd like to practice the basics. All right, but it'll cost you. I'll pay it. Now, pay close attention. Ooh, save game too. Nice. All right. Um, so, do I have stolen things on me? Yes. But let me go get more stolen things. Ooh, lockpicks. I will take all of those. <laughs> 290. It's kind of worth it, actually. Sell. Uh, okay, none of that is. I'll just sell you that anyway, I think. None of this is. Okay, just the ring? Naturally. Finally, a reasonable sum. 
All right, thank you. Thank you, thank you. Do I need any food? Yes, I do. Okay. Now, I do have some more stuff to put on my horse. So now, what we're gonna do is, uh, the game did save. I wonder, maybe I should have waited to sell that crap until next time because the game saved and I'm probably gonna stop playing for the night. But uh, yeah, next time we will probably go to Ratai, I'm thinking, and um, have a bath. Is there anywhere for me to have a bath? Is there even baths like in Ratai? Maybe we'll just go to Yushits and have a bath. <laughs> I don't know. There's probably baths somewhere, right? I'm sure every every town has a bath somewhere. Otherwise, that would be very strange. Anyway, that's what we're gonna be trying to do. Anyways, um, next time we'll probably go back and get cleaned up at Rate uh, if we can. Or maybe I'll just go over to Dutchco because they do have baths there, and uh, it's pretty close by. And then I think we'll hunt down that bandit, the bandit leader, if possible. Then we will go to Yushits and uh, do the main quest and also learn to read. Very exciting. So thank you everyone for joining me once more for another episode of Kingdom Come Deliverance. Really enjoying it so far. Uh, and I hope you guys are still enjoying the videos. Thank you so much for watching, for your eyeballs, and for your nice comments. I'll see you very soon for another episode. Bye.